When we talk about waterways, we're referring to any kind of water feature in the environment. It could be a river or creek, a wetland, lake or reservoir. Even our inshore areas like Cleveland and Halifax Bay can be considered as waterways. Waterways are critical to the health of our environment. They support our wildlife and fisheries. They act as refuges for wildlife during times of drought. They support a wide variety of vegetation communities. And just like we use roads for traveling, waterways act as a corridor for wildlife and floral species to move around the landscape. A catchment is made up of all the land features in an area, such as hills, mountains and plains, from which all runoff flows to a low point. These low points are our waterways. This means that what happens in one part of a catchment is likely to affect anything downstream from that point. In terms of the native number of species of fish that we have in the city, it's hard to really tell, but we kind of think there's somewhere in the order of almost up to 100 different species of fish. This is in the estuaries. In the freshwater parts of the city, there's probably fewer species, somewhere in the order of possibly 30 or 40 different species of fish. What's most interesting, however, is there are species of fish, the barramundi, the mangrove jack, that people love to go and catch and eat. Those species of fish move between the freshwater areas and the salty uh, estuarine areas. And if they can't move across those freshwater and salty parts of, of, a, of a waterway, they can't complete their life cycle. Everything you do in your backyard, your school, playground, farm or business has the potential to affect waterways lower down the catchment and ultimately our precious ocean and marine life.